on behalf of Raj Bhavan, I extend to all a very warm and hearty welcome to this joyous occasion of felicitation of His Eminence, Philip Neri Cardinal Ferron. For the first time in more than four and a half centuries, an Archbishop from the Archdiocese of Goa has been elevated to the rank of Cardinal. It is truly a historic and proud moment for Goa and for all Goans across the length and breadth of the world. It is indeed a rare honor and privilege to be hosting His Eminence this evening at Raj Bhavan. His Eminence has been a familiar visitor to Raj Bhavan on several occasions, and Raj Bhavan has been privileged to be blessed by his guidance and leadership. It fills our hearts with immense joy to have His Eminence with us this evening. A very warm welcome to His Eminence. <laughs> Honorable Governor has been instrumental in arranging the celebration of this achievement and has been guiding us at every moment. A very warm welcome to you, sir. We also acknowledge the gracious presence of the First Lady. A very warm welcome to you, Madam. We are extremely happy to have with us Honorable Chief Minister on this wonderful occasion. A very warm welcome to you, sir. Befitting this great occasion, we are extremely happy to have amongst us, sir, His Holiness, Shri Shri Sadguru Bhai Maharaj Ji. A very, very warm welcome to His Holiness. I would also like to extend a very warm welcome to the Honorable Minister of Transport, Honorable Minister of PWD, Honorable Minister of Tourism, Honorable Minister of Social Welfare, Honorable Member of Parliament Rajya Sabha, and all the other MLAs, fathers from the Archdiocese of Goa, and sisters from the Missionaries of Charity, and other distinguished guests who are present here to share this joyous occasion. Last but not the least, a very warm welcome to the press and media persons. I am sure that we will have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. Yeah. I would now like to request His Holiness, Sri Sri Sadguru Bhav Maharaj Ji, to kindly say a few words on this occasion. आज बहुत ही आनंद का दिन है आज हमारे महामहिम उन्होंने हमें बुलाया हम उनका शुक्रगुजार है और हमारे फिलिप जी हम उनको 10-12 साल पहले मिले हैं हम लास्ट 30 साल से ऑल रिलीजन सेमिनार करते हैं हमारे गुरुजी थे सतगुरु पारुडेश्वर महाराज जी उनका एक ये था मोटो था कि हर एक इंसान भगवान का रूप है और हर एक इंसान ने सुखी जीवन जीना चाहिए तो इसी उद्देश्य से लास्ट 30 इयर्स हम ये प्रोग्राम करते आ रहे हैं और हम हर बार विशप साहब को हम लेटर देते थे उनका ये हमारे आश्रम में आते थे फादर और हमें प्रोग्राम करते थे और हर एक भाईचारे से सब कुछ आनंद से प्रेम से हम ये प्रोग्राम करते थे तो आज हमारे विशप साहब का प्रमोशन हुआ है तो हमें बहुत ही खुशी है आनंद है इतने सालों के बाद यानी इतना अच्छा मौका मिला है और दूसरी बात यह है कि हर एक इंसान का सब कुछ अपने पुण्य को पर सब कुछ ये होता है उनको भी ये ये मिलना ये उनका अच्छा सोल है वो बहुत अच्छे इंसान है अच्छा काम किया है और लास्ट जन्म में उन्होंने बहुत कुछ अच्छा काम किया है पुण्य का काम किया है इसीलिए उनको ये प्राप्त हुआ है तो 
बहुत ही आनंद का और बहुत ही गर्व का विषय है ये हम उनको बधाई देते हैं हम उनको हमेशा कि उनका सम्मान करते हैं तो इसलिए हम फिलिप साहब का उन्होंने एक किताब लिखा है उन्होंने बहुत कुछ अच्छा 91 से अच्छा काम किया है जब बिशप थे तब भी उन्होंने सब कुछ अच्छे से सब फादरों को सबको प्यार से वो लेके गए गोवा में शांति लाने का काम किया गोवा के लोगों को प्यार दिया इतना ये सबसे बड़ी बात है तो हम इतना ही बोलना चाहते हैं कि ये जो हमारे फिलिप साहब है वो बहुत ही अच्छे दिल के इंसान है पुण्यवान है सब कुछ पुण्य से सब कुछ निर्भर होता है पुण्य पर उपकार पापते पर पीड़ा इसका मतलब यह है जो इंसान पुण्य करता है सबको प्यार देता है सबको काम आता है वही पुण्य का काम है और पाप जो है दूसरे को तकलीफ देना दूसरे को पीड़ना ये पाप है तो उन्होंने अच्छा काम किया है इसलिए उनको इतना अच्छा सम्मान गोवा में फर्स्ट टाइम और इतना चार साल में फर्स्ट टाइम इतना सम्मान मिलना ये बहुत ही गर्व की बात है आनंद की बात है हम उनको दोबारा बधाई देना चाहते हैं और हमारा सबके गोवा के प्रति गोवा का भला होना चाहिए गोवा का गोवा का सब कुछ ठीक होना चाहिए और गोवा के लोग सुखी होने चाहिए और उनके हाथ से और भी अच्छा काम होना चाहिए और गोवा के लोग सुखी होने चाहिए सबको प्यार मिलना चाहिए सबको खुशी मिलनी चाहिए और गोवा एक सुसंस्कृत राज्य है तो उसमें और भी अच्छा डेवलपमेंट करना चाहिए लोगों को काम मिलना चाहिए लोगों को खुशी मिलनी चाहिए और सब लोग सुखी होने चाहिए बस सर्वे सुखी ना भवंतु तो सब लोग सुखी होना चाहिए यही हम चाहते और दोबारा हम फिलिप साहब को बधाई देते हैं और हमारा ये काम पूरे करते हैं जय परमेश्वर बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद स्वामी जी आई वुड नाउ टू रिक्वेस्ट ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर ट्रांसपोर्ट टू काइंडली से फ्यू वर्ड्स ऑनरेबल गवर्नर ऑफ गोवा श्री श्रीधरन पिल्ले जी ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर प्रमोद सावंत हिज एमिनेंस फिलिप नेरी कार्डिनल फेराव सदगुरु बाबू महाराज जी माय कलीग्स मेंबर्स ऑफ द कैबिनेट ऑनरेबल मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट एम एल एज द फर्स्ट लेडी द प्रीस फ्रॉम Bishop Palace ladies and gentlemen indeed it's a great pleasure for me to say a few words on this wonderful occasion how proud it is for us and how elated we feel that our bishop has been elevated to be a cardinal for the first time in centuries from this lovely state of goa i always say goa is the best place in fact uh, another state which says god's own country that's kerala i put forward a very strong argument even in the gst council the gods dwell in goa and what better proof or evidence so eminent that our bishop becomes a cardinal among the committee of the topmost people at the vatican is it not a honor for us it is an honor for every single goan in fact it is the cardinals who ultimately elect the pope perhaps bishop philip neri ferrau now the cardinal perhaps for a long time he would never have fathomed that he would be a cardinal one day and to the luck of goa and this country who can say what is one's destiny if from a bishop your eminence can be the cardinal why not perhaps the pope it may be your destiny 
and it may be Goa's destiny to have a Pope. We, are, we may be one step away because I have seen how the elections take place, how the smoke comes out of the ch chimney to signify the election of the Pope. So we would perhaps wait for that moment. But coming to His Eminence, Cardinal Philip Neri Ferrand, he has led his flock, I would say, extremely well. I would say his services have been so recognized, not only among the Catholic community, but by the people of Goa at large, Goa and Daman and Diu, which he is in charge, and also all across the country. And now what he will do further will be recognized all over the world. When this happens, when you have qualities of head and heart, and that is what he possesses. When called upon his duty, it has not been only the religious duties that he has performed. He has been an eminent figure in society, expressing his opinions bluntly sometimes, much to perhaps some of our annoyance sometimes, but in the interest of the people of Goa, in the interest of the people of the state. We have seen at his parties, Christmas parties that they have annually, that he has been very expressive, and why not? That has been his solid contribution to the state of Goa. And it is this, he is the educational institutions, which also ultimately he is the head, which have contributed immensely to the growth, through the education, to getting good qualities imbibed in them by the diocese and schools as well. There have been no field that he has not ventured into. Of course, through the church, you preach about religion, you preach your flock, which is your duty, but they have gone beyond that. Vivid among them being the performance of the school in the field of education. Therefore, on behalf of my cabinet colleagues here, on behalf of all of us present here, I congratulate you once again, Your Eminence, Cardinal Philip Neri Ferrand. Your works will always resonate in the hearts and minds of Goans. And Goa is such a beautiful place. There is hardly any division. There may be a very thin line which gets blurred most of the time from which community you belong, which religion you belong. We all behave as one with that much of communal amity, that much of brotherhood amongst all of us, that much of good relation which we can see and everyone experiences when they come to Goa. That's why they say Goa is a God-blessed God place. And adding to this facet has been our excellent, I would say, governor. Now you don't say excellency. You say our honorable governor, Pilleji. He has love for the people. He has been going from place to place, visiting people, experiencing what is there in Goa. As he was discussing with me a short while ago, and even earlier, Goa may be a small state, as some describe it as a beautiful state, a pearl in the crown of India. But he is experiencing something much more when he visits the villages in Goa. The lovely people, as small as it may be, but diverse, have their own way of doing things, have their own culture, have their own uh, traditions in the temples, sometimes uh, different f festivals in the different churches, all that he has been experienced. An eminent writer that he is, it will find place in one of the finest writings one day, which I am sure, which will be there for everyone to experience in the uh, entire country. I look forward to that as well. Without much ado, I once again, without taking more time, wish Cardinal Philip Neri Ferrand all the very best. We look forward to greater moments from you. Being in that uh, position to lead the flock, interact with much higher people, I think much of it will rub in different ways that manifest in your functioning amongst the people of Goa, amongst the different uh, types of uh, things that, and situational things that you may face, I'm sure it will go a long way 
in strengthening the oneness among humanity, the oneness among all communities, leading your flock to those particular uh, levels that everyone talks good about you, not only in Goa, not only in India, but all over the world. Thank you very much indeed for giving me these few words to say. Thank you so much, sir, for your inspiring words. I would now like to request Honorable Chief Minister to kindly say a few words. For the felicitation of the Cardinal Philip Neri Ferrao, along with me, Honorable Governor Sri P. Yes, Sri Dharan Pileji, Cardinal Philip Neri Ferrao, uh, Bahu, Bahu Maharaj, Minister Mavin, Minister uh, Nilesh, uh, Minister Rohan, Minister Subhash, uh, Rajya Sabha Khazdar, uh, Sri Vinay Tendulkar, Ex Chief Minister Sri Digambar Kamat, MLA Alex, Bap, uh, Alex MLA Reginald, uh, and the rest, all other MLAs, my brothers and sisters. At the onset, I heartily congratulate the Cardinal Philip Neri Ferrao on his elevation as a cardinal priest, assigned the title of Santa Maria in Vaya by Pope Francis. Our Indian culture has always been inclusive one over the period of time this faith have mixed in nation's mainstream, and today India is a glorious example of unity in diversity. Especially in Goa, we are best example of peaceful coexistence of the various faith. Hindu, Muslim, Christians share a strong bond of mutual respect and brotherhood. Especially in this confluence of 60th year of Goa liberation and 75th year of India's independence, we found the remembrance of Pinto's revolt, contribution of late T.B. Kunna, late Francisco Luis Gom, late Minijis Braganza, and who were worked tirelessly along with late Balaraya Mapari, late Mohan Ranre, late Manohar, Manohar Lohia, late Jagannath Rao Joshi, etc., for the liberation from the Portuguese regime and bringing the Goa into mainstream of India. It is our collective responsibility to maintain the social fabrics and work towards achieving the glory of our motherland. It is in this regard that the role of priest and religion ruler gain prominence. Your word carries the lot of weightage in mind of followers. You are blessed with power and also authority to guide this society on path of rightlessness. Every religion has a founding philosophy of working path of truth, peace, spiritual enlightenment, social upliftment and service to humanity. Cardinal Philip Neri Ferrao has been a bright example in this regard. He has always stayed committed to service of humanity in, in pursuit of dedication towards divine. He has been Archbishop of Goa since year 2004. I have been reading these various addresses to the people of Goa, special ones delivered on the St. Francis Xavier Feast every year. One can understand his study, his thought process, and also the sense of belongingness towards this land and its glory. I wish him good health and success in new role on the path of service, divine thoughts, upliftment of the masses. I thank Honorable Governor for making me the part of this function. Samista Goikaran Chavatin, Ani Goi Sarkar Chavatin, Hau Paradigda, Cardinal Philip Neri Ferrao, Hanka Manaka Zatlan Purvidita, Ani Tancha Fudla Pravasa Khatir Kurokurus, Tancho Ashirvat, Hosudodit, Goichir, Ani Samista Goikaran Chir Astolo, Ikatan Chalagi Makta, Deobare Guru. Thank you very much, sir, for this wonderful message. I would now like to request Honorable Governor to say a few words.
ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर इस एमिनेंस कर्दिनाल फिलिप नेरी जी मिनिस्टर्स सुभाष जी मोहन जी रोहन जी निगेश जी और एम बी विनय जी फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर कमद जी एंड रेस्पेक्टेड मेम्बेस ऑफ द लेजिस्टेटिव असम्ब्ली प्रीश सिस्टर्स एंड मई डियर फ्रेंड्स ई एम एक्सट्रीमली हापी टू अटंड इन दिस प्रोग्राम probably this is the first time in india a constitutional institution top most institution inviting spiritual leader for a reception i have got my own reasons for that so i am a student of uh, law including constitution our secularism is a part of our constitution basic one of the basic structures of our constitution and nobody can violate it and it is it is of course i believe that sarva dharma samabhav before constitution thousands of years back that is our tradition i am from kerala kerala one place is called kudungallur is there you see first muslim mosque in india is in kudungallur and first christian message in india of course different views are there but my view i am expressing that in kudungallur it started ad 52 the theory is there anyway ad in 52 St. Thomas came to India. Some historians are written that that is that cannot be accepted. That may be historical aspects. I have written to Prime Minister also, and Prime Minister is in his one of his speeches, some way stated that the Christianity came to India before it was reaching Europe. That concept is there. So different views are there, but I. express my opinion once in kerala about uh, 20 years back there was a little bit controversy also i stated that what is history history may not be prepared on the basis of the documents and uh, records uninterrupted continuous usage of a society that amounts to history according to me that also part of history bhagwan sri ramachandra born in ayodhya that is the belief of the people during the last uh, thousands of years uninterrupted continuously it was using like that christian came to uh, india of course my according to me it could in a lot different views are there i have occasion to read that anyway what was the importance of kodungallur that the raja of kodungallur received both this faiths and uh, given them all help including assigning not assigning gifted property to them and uh, constructed that mosque as well as the temple this is one side of the history that is why in our constitution that concept is there regarding that concept of course my friend a very good lawyer mla is also here and uh, in our constituent assembly discussions if we go back Will, uh, it is report that that russian constitution on that particular subject was instrumental for giving concept so i already told the sarva dharma samabhav all are dharmas hindu dharma or christian dharma isai dharma or muslim dharma 
or Buddhist theory ar 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 arisen from India. All these are called dharma. There is no equivalent word for dharma in English according to me. I am due to, with uh, due respect, my opinion I am expressing. So dharma and uh, religion are different. So all faiths have, in the world according to me, 12 religions were known and all the religions were given reception in India. If you take the case of Baha'is, Baha'is largest place of worship and center is in our country. The tradition is there. Israeli people, Cochin, if you are going, you can see how we have, we have given shelter to them. So under these aspects, my view is that I'm not for, uh, for any controversy or quarrel. Whether religion must be interpreted in a positive way, not in the constitution or anywhere, not in the arena of, of, of the ruling setup, but people's, inside the mind of the people, there should be a positive approach. Now, it is interpreting in many ways, I would like to say, not political or ruling or any setup, but in a way, negative. Keep away from religion. What was the view of Gandhiji? Gandhiji, even with respect to politics, what was stated by Gandhiji? Politics without dharma or religion. He, he used the word dirt, D-A-R-T, dirt. I don't want to give much explanation on that. So dharma is there. What is happening in our country nowadays? Especially in my state, Kerala, crime rate and other things. Baba is better according to me if we go through the records. Uh, press people are there, I am saying that Goa is better than Kerala. Don't put me in trouble. <laughs> so you see, in, in, in America, what is, a, what is one of the important problems facing now? The children, the total number of people there, population, the, this uh, bullet, keeping by the people in private, not governmental, other private setup, private people, is more than the population. Now in school, young children, young students, fighting each other with uh, this, that. How many, piece, how many young students are losing their life? But do you think about Japan? Japan, can you point out a single incident? Why? It is a matter to be de study in detail. Ethical consideration is part of the curriculum there. And that, inculcating that in the younger mind, all religions, Swamiji and uh, Cardinal Ji, everybody, they will be able to do that. So positive approach according to me, this is my personal view, not as governor. That is a need of the hour according to me. And uh, positive secularism and negative secularism, maybe their discussions are there. I don't want to stand anything with a governor. I, I am expected to keep mum on that. I am not going to that aspect. But uh, as far as our uh, chief guest today is concerned, when I took charge as the governor. Immediately on the next day, he visited me. He blessed me. And that friendship is there. And uh, during my uh, recent uh, Grama Darshan program, I, have, I had occasion to visit uh, almost all temples, all churches, mosques, and uh, this uh, uh, Sikh uh, Gurudwara uh, as well. Swamiji's Ashram, so far I have no occasion to visit and I told him today that within uh, few, within two weeks I will visit that ashram also. So the, the, Goba is concerned. The people's that unity, integrity, and further I would say the sovereignty of the country, great contribution, our Goba is, is contributing very much and... Uh, so my relationship with uh, his eminence is also 
give me inspiration on many occasions and the unity among the all these main religions article 44 of the constitution discussion i had occasion to read dr ambedkar pandit jawala nehru and so many such uh, constitution the assembly stalwarts at that time what they have stated about article 44 of the constitution that constitution mandate on article 44 is implemented only in one state of india that is goa so i am very happy that i am the head of the state here and uh, i am complimenting cardinal philip nerji and uh, for the unity of the people and uh, a self reliant goa i am soliciting his help further and further and wish him all the best may god bless him thank you very much jai hind thank you very much sir for your words of enlightenment now we come and we have the honor and privilege of felicitation of his eminence cardinal philip neri ferron at the hands of the honorable governor our honorable governor mr shridharan pillai honorable chief minister dr pramod savant his holiness shri shri sadguru bau brahmaraj mr movin gudino honorable transport minister all the honorable ministers honorable member of the parliament all our members of the legislative assembly lady governor mrs pillai fathers sisters and my dear friends my first and foremost word is of deep appreciation and profound gratitude to our honorable governor for this initiative that he has taken to organize this function for felicitating me on my recent nomination as cardinal in fact i was deeply touched to receive a few days ago a personal letter from our honorable prime minister mr narendra modi i am deeply touched by this gesture of our governor to felicitate me in fact i have accepted this nomination in a spirit of deep surrender to god's will and knowing that this nomination implies a greater responsibility of service service inspired by jesus who chose to his spend himself in the service of the people and who gave his disciples a touching example of humble service when he washed the feet of his disciples and he told them i have given you an example 
so that you may do likewise. In the church, there are no honors, privileges, promotions. We are ordained priests. And by virtue of our ordination as priests, we are obliged to render service. And whatever happens afterwards, whether we become bishops, archbishops, cardinals, pope, we continue to remain priests. We continue our ministry of service, obviously with greater responsibility. As cardinal, I will have to exercise this responsibility as a close collaborator of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, at the universal level, also at the level of our continent. In fact, day after tomorrow, I have to go to Bangkok to participate in a conference of the Federation of Asian Bishops, all the bishops of all the countries of India. So this nomination means a greater responsibility of Christ-like service, humble, selfless, caring service. We all belong to this country, and India has been known always as a lovely cradle of religions, cultures, languages, ethnicities, and we have all lived as one family of brothers and sisters belonging to the same country. I remember way back when I was studying in Rome, there were students from various countries of the world, and I had a good friend coming from former Yugoslavia. Now they have become, after that time it was one, but they have broken up into different republics, as you know, Slovenia, Croatia, Sarajevo, Serbia. He was from Sarajevo. He was my good friend. And whenever I went to his room, I saw his, his name was Pero Pranic, and down he would put Sarajevo. And I used to ask him, Pero, why don't you put Yugoslavia? Why do you put Sarajevo? And he said, no, I will never put Sarajevo. I will, all, I will never put Yugoslavia. I will put Sarajevo. I realized those countries, those republics had been put together by Tito, and they broke apart. But I was telling him, under my name, I will never put Goa. I will put India. <laughs> we, all Indians, I think are our first identity is Indians. We afterwards may be from MP, UP, Kerala, Goa, Tamil Nadu. I think we are Indians first. And I think this is what holds us together, that we are rooted in our Indian ethos. And as the governor was saying, India has been a country that welcomed all religions, all languages, all cultures. And we have celebrated our diversity. Even in Goa, though the Portuguese were here for centuries, we always remain Goans, whatever may be our language, our culture, our religion. And I think we shared in our festivals. And I think our Honorable Governor is experiencing this as he is visiting our villages, our churches, our temples, our mosques. And I think it's our common responsibility, whether civil leaders, religious leaders, to work together to preserve this beautiful treasure that India has always been down centuries. The church, in whichever country it lives, it has contributed very specially in the field of education, healthcare, social service, and that's happen also in India for the last so many years in Goa. And we have collaborated with all the civil authorities, government authorities, and we have received the best of collaboration. I wish that we can continue to work together in a spirit of collaboration and serve our people, particularly those who are less resourceful and who are living on the margins of our society. I would not like to finish without saying one special word for the wonderful role that our governor, Mr. Sridharan Pillai, is playing in our state from the time he took over his responsibility as the governor of this beautiful state. 
He has reminded us that Kerala is God's own country. I'm sure you will agree that Goa also equally God's own country. <laughs> I appreciate the initiative that he has taken to build bridges, to get to know our state. The very initiative, probably quite troublesome for him, is to visit our villages. He has been going around. We read it on the papers, villages. He has been trying to see our nature. Just now he was telling Mr. Morvin Gudino there are some trees here, old trees, 200, 300 trees. So you can see the interest that he has in local ecology. And I also know that, that he has taken a praiseworthy initiative of reaching out to those who are in difficulties, those who have to take dialysis, those who are suffering from cancer. He has taken that beautiful initiative to reach out these people who sometimes have to face a lot of financial constraints. Mr. Governor, I thank you for the beautiful role you're playing to build bridges, to reach out to our people, and to maintain the beautiful wealth of this state. May God bless you. May God bless our chief minister, uh, all our ministers, Mr. Morvin and the other ministers, member of the parliament. I'm so happy that His Holiness Sri Sri Sadguru Bau Brahmaraj is with us. Goa has been a cradle of beautiful relations between followers of different religions. I wish and pray that all of us, hand in hand, can maintain this rich tradition of our country. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much, His Eminence. You have really touched our hearts with your wonderful message and words. I would now request uh, the uh, vote of thanks by our ADC, Sri Vishram Borkar. I just wadak vedike chair hajira shille manist tashets sabagarat upastit moga soy soyrak diobari amur diu shia audeta Bagara goicha itiasacha panar anik ek fout luck uswad kalpi hawk hin Yawera Upkaracha ulop kartana maka kup kos bakta Aizam chamudi Goizo Anik Ekput, Dania Devachi Ani Samajasi Seva Karit, Usla Powder Poppy, Bosresh, Philip Neri Cardinal Ferrao, Hanzo Satkar Swalo, Niktots Gudunailo. Aicha Satkar Swalache, Apone, Ani Ho, Kello Satkar, Mote Manan, Apnaila Badal, Bosresh, Philip Neri Cardinal Ferrao, Hanzo. Goa Raj Bhavan Sadats Upkari Astale Tumchi Dispati Dava Mukhar Kelya Magnani Amso Bharat Desh Ani Amche Supule Bangarale Goin Anik Natan Udargat Kardale Hachiamka Zanvikayasa Goi Rajache Rajapal Bhavanes P.S. Sridharan Pelaji Hanjani Ho Satkar Suwalo Ghadon Hadun Amka दर खिनाक मार्गदर्शन केल्या बद्दल आम्ही तांचे उपकारी असत आयच्या ह्या सुवाळ्यात मुजरत हाजीर राहून आमची उर्बा वाढवल्या खातिर प्रथम महिला गोवा राज्यपालांची घरकान एडवोकेट रीता श्रीधरन पिल्लई हांचे आम्ही उपकारी असत गोय राज्याचे मुख्यमंत्री बोमानेस दोदोर प्रमोद सावंतजी हाने आपलो या सुवाळ्यात बोमोलादिक वेळ दिलो याबद्दल तांका चढ आणि चढ देव बरे करू तसेच वंदिनीय सद्गुरु भाऊ महाराज हांच्यानी या सुवाळ्यात मार्गदर्शन केल्याबद्दल आम्ही तांचे उपकारी असत गोयचे पंचायत मंत्री श्री मॉविन गुदेनो तसेच हेर गोयचे मंत्रीगण बोमानेस सुभाष फेल्डसाय जी रोहन खौटे जी निलेश काबराल जी आदले गोयचे मुख्यमंत्री श्री दिगंबर कामत जी राज्यसभा मेंबर श्री विनय तेंडुलकर जी तसेच या गोयचा गोयचे डेप्युटी स्पीकर श्री जोशुआ जी 
आनी विगड विगड वाटारातले आमदार जे आयज ह्या सुवाळ्याक हाजीर रावले त्या बद्दल आम्ही तुमच्या सगळ्यांचे मना काळजातल्यान उपकार आटयतात त्याच परी गोवा राजभवनचे सचिव श्री मिहीर वर्धन हांचे या दबाजा वेळार उपकार आटयतात तसेच या समारंभात प्रतिष्ठित नागरिक जे आयज या सभाघरात उपस्थित असत ज्यातून धर्मगुरू असत सिस्टर्स असत नन्स असत हांचे आम्ही या कार्यावळीत वाटेकारी झाल्या कारणान तांचे आम्ही उपकार आटयतात तसेच न विसरता प्रसार माध्यमाचे प्रतिनिधी आयज ह्या सुवाळ्याक असत तांच्यानी तांच्या बगर हो सुवाळो बाकीच्या वाठारांनी पावचो ना हे जाणून आम्ही तांचे उपकार आटयतात ह्या सुवाळ्याची वेगळ्या वेगळ्या मांडावळ करपा खातीर राजभवनचे कर्मचारी अधिकारी तसेच भौशिक बांधकाम खाते हांचे आम्ही या वेळाचेर उगडास करून तांची आपुरबाय करतात सगळ्यांनी उपस्थित राहून हो सुवाळो एक बऱ्या मनान आणि बऱ्या तरेन जैतिवंत झालो या खातीर आम्ही सगळ्यांचे उपकारी असत ही कार्यावळ सोपली अशी जाहीर करच्या पहिली राष्ट्रगीता उपरांत सगळ्या मान्यवरांनी च्या पाण्याचा आस्वाद घेऊचो अशी विनंती करून हा म्हजी दोन उतरां सोपयता देव बरे करू सगळ्यांक तुमका बरी सांज दिऊ थँक्यू व्हेरी मच श्री विश्राम बोरकर